Hi everyone, welcome to Kelly's Art Throb. I'm Kelly, and today I'm just playing with color. And specifically, a Barbie color palette. Did you guys have Barbies? Have you seen the movie? I haven't seen the movie yet. I did not have a Barbie. I had a Dawn doll. Um, and I'll talk about that later. But I really want to see the movie, and you know why? Because I, I watch the Architectural Digest channel, and they had a designer come on and talk about all of the Barbie dream houses. It just inspired me to think of a grown-up color palette. Because apparently, if uh, the movie trailer is to be believed, Barbie's been out of her old neighborhood and she's seen some stuff. I'm not sure what, but anyway... Barbie's older than I am, so I think she needs to move away from bubblegum pink and she needs a more sophisticated color palette. I'm envisioning Barbie living in a post-modern contemporary style house. You know, so it would still have a lot of those real mid-century modern lines, but it would be really updated. And I think her color palette has to be a lot more sophisticated too. So, um, I've been seeing a lot of people using this color cube, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, I very stubbornly, very stubbornly tried to do the same thing as what's in the color cube. And, you know, I can do it, but it would take so long. And I thought, why am I being so resistant to doing this? I've taken other artists classes. I've, you know, I look at other artists for inspiration. Why wouldn't I buy this? I mean, it's so practical. And it, out of all the silly things that I have bought, all the books, all of that, why wouldn't I just go ahead and do it? So. Um, I did, and I bought the bundle with the, the digital bundle because I don't know how long it's going to take to get here, and I wanted to do this video today. So I went online and um, signed into an account that I created when I made my purchase, and I found this beautiful color palette. Here, I'm going to show it to you. Now look at that. Isn't that yummy? Isn't that perfect? It's still got her signature pink, but it's way more sophisticated. So I went ahead and put these with watercolor because that's mostly what I work in these days. I'll tell you the colors that I'm using. I'm using Buff Titanium, uh, Neutral Tint, Quinacridone Magenta, and Perline Violet, and um, I think it's burnt sienna and I mix the burnt sienna and the neutral tint together to get more of a chocolatier, you know, a dark chocolate color. And then the perylene violet was just a little too maroon. It needed a little bit more pink in it. So I combined that with the magenta to get that really pretty gorgeous, yummy, uh, berry-ish kind of color. It's not really raspberry, but it's it's definitely pink, but it's, it's just better. It's richer. And then, of course, I had to add some white to it to make it pastel. And I know you usually don't do that with watercolor, but I did it this time, and I like it. It's a little, it added a little opacity to it, and softened it a little bit and I think you know what I like it so I'm not sorry I did it and you know what also I'm experimenting with some lines and doodles on here just because it's a color study and it's just quick doesn't mean I don't want to make it look good so um, I had just randomly put some circles on the paper and um, I went back and forth on this. Part of the time I liked the composition on the left better than I liked the composition on the right. And it just kind of 
really depended on how I balanced it all out. In the end, you'll have to make your own decision which one you like better. It's not serious art, but I think it's important to emphasize that sometimes you don't have the time or the inclination or whatever to do a serious, like a quote unquote serious piece of art. But there's always something you can do. You can always do a color study. You can always brush up on your drawing skills. There's always something. And so today it was a Barbie color scheme. That's what it was. And some doodles. And while we're talking about Barbie, we need to talk about the Dawn doll, which apparently some of us had, not just me. And Dawn was about 30% smaller than Barbie. And there, at least I didn't have a house or a car or anything. I don't think she came with that kind of stuff. Dawn was a very practical cow. She grew up with a working mom. She was a latchkey kid. And when she got to high school, she didn't want to make her own clothes anymore. So she marched herself up to the mall and got herself a job so she could earn the money to buy her own clothes. Because as I was told by a male coworker uh, many years ago, the second worst thing to be told about your blind date, besides she has a great personality, is she makes her own clothes. So, so Dawn must have known this because, she, like I said, she went to the mall and she worked at, um, I don't know, the local eatery or establishment was a hostess or something and she earned the money to buy her own clothes and that was Dawn. And n no shade thrown at Dawn, but they're just not making a movie about her, are they? Yeah, so there's a teeny tiny little piece of me that feels a little ripped off, but not really. But maybe a little. The, the doll that I really liked the most growing up, and you guys, I'm not really, even, I'm not into dolls as an adult. I don't have any dolls or anything, but <clears throat> it made me think of my Chrissy doll. Did any of you have Chrissy? She was the doll that you could make her hair long or short and you could style it. And she was, she smelled, she didn't smell like strawberry shortcake, but she definitely had her own aroma. <laughs> didn't they all though? I mean, all those plastic dolls. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm doing here with the doodles. I pulled out a black Posca marker and a white Posca marker, and I started experimenting with using white marks. It's not something I've done a lot of, and I wanted to try it on this particular little thing because I felt like I didn't have too much to lose if it went badly. And I really like what I'm going to do here in a little bit where I'm going to take my black um, fountain pen and I'm going to go around these white marks and give them a little bit of shading and I like that and I just um, I like the experimental aspects of doing these little pieces quite a lot it's pretty freeing and it takes a lot of the pressure away and I kind of figure I could maybe use this as a card or um, I've heard a lot of people say they do collage I haven't done a lot of collage but I do have an idea for a project in the future and I don't want to give too much away because I feel like a lot of times when I do that I don't follow through because it ended up not being practical or I didn't like the way it's turning out or whatever so I might do some other things with it but for sure I feel like these could be greeting cards just sort of generic greeting card covers well that about does it for me today thank you for joining me today you guys take care and I'll see you soon smooches bye